trying to develop an art style is a, is a road that leads down to nowhere. Let me tell you why. There were some works that tend to not fit with the rest. They seem to not align with the body of work one has produced. To identify the tendencies of different artworks is something that happens before, while and after creating a piece, I believe, because naturally we are influenced by the things we like. We see artists that make beautiful artworks, something that is striking to us. We can relate to and we just feel good about having seen it. It will influence our own works and that's okay. To view this as a copying is inherently wrong and a flawed perspective. To bring this to the point why viewing it as copying is wrong, frankly sad, the perspective is way off. The source of the thought is a very egocentric and comes from a limited point of perspective. To shift the perspective, we need to understand we're finding ourselves as hundreds of thousands of artists before us have done. They've seen art, they have been influenced by art. And understanding we are not copying to copy, we are copying or taking inspiration, whatever you want to call it, to create and find ourselves, even join those movements, be part of that particular art scene. We're not taking from anyone. We are adding to the global historic value of art. Through the things we like, we choose to be open and not limit ourselves to a particular art style that we think we have created and that is us. Because it's just a tiny piece, or just a tiny spark from what actually is our artist self. Our artist self has seen paintings, is impressed by them and even dislikes others. And all of that enjoying or not enjoying of particular artworks is great to find out which direction to move. Sadly, our bodies don't work like that and we are animals of habits, so just knowing what we like will not transform our creating process. That's why I'm saying identifying the difference in our own artworks and reflecting about them is a good practice, because it makes us sensitive towards our own thoughts that sometimes run on muted audio just behind the daily thoughts, the productive machinery that keeps everything going. What happens, at least to me, maybe you can relate to it as well, but there's sometimes this point of breaking out where I had enough and I'm, I'm, I'm sad about having to keep up this artistic persona that I created for myself to hold on to. And breaking out of that, shutting it off, is like a switch in the mind and listening to the part of yourself that looked at all those paintings you like, looked and enjoyed all those museum walks, identified your artworks and compared them to others. Often after having enough of creating a certain way, it's a bit like our mind finds this body that hasn't learned anything our mind wants it to do. It can be very transformative. The muscle memory is so used to working after habits that Building something new is an act of balance between the mind and our own process. Always correcting ourselves by the standards of paintings we like, we adore. Pushing us closer towards creating something along those lines. Something that adds to that vision. And not only that, as well, what makes us curious? What is intriguing to us? What is something that we want to know about? What raises questions within us naturally? Wanting to find out how something was done, or how it would appear to be put into another setting, another scene. To see things in another light, in our own light, not giving it a generic makeover in a style that could have been performed by an AI. Lately I have been actually looking into AIs, and it's quite interesting. To me it was nothing mind-blowing, but I'm convinced though that it already can be part of a working process as part of an inspirational source, as in making your own inspiration and not waiting around for it. Because we know inspiration and talent are highly overrated things. It's usually determination and long work hours paired with a need to make the time fun and worthwhile. I quickly wanted to talk about the flow state. I'm assuming everybody knows about the flow state and being able to know that every time we start doing something, it just takes a while to be fully focused, to be in the move of it. It's a highly focused state, even though I believe there are different states we live through. There's this flow state of just working after ourselves, working with the things we have experienced. 
guided by our own muscle memory, the things we know how to do, and we're just going through the motions. What I wanted to point out is there is this flow state that appears for me after a breaking point that I mentioned earlier. It appears to me to be highly symbiotic between the things we still have in our muscle memory and the things that are new to our mes muscle memory. And implementing those within our works is taking from our memory of looking at other artworks or experiencing them in any way or even life itself and challenging our own workflow while we are creating. Embracing the new, the unknown. And sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. But nevertheless, it's a very interesting time. Sometimes there are just those days where I feel like I have two left hands and I'm not really connected to myself. And that's okay. To round this out, stay curious and show what you love. Because making art adds value to our lives. By being interesting, being fun, being whatever art needs to be for us. In case you want to know why I create and make art, check out this video.